Artists forget pain. I am from a generation of artists. Jamaica, the very, very first woman to record a song with my late aunt, Hortense Ellis. And she died broke. Me not do that. So whether it's publishing, whether it's music, whether it's dance, whatever, that is a part of that creative sector. We need to recognize that it is an important asset. And it's very basic to the Jamaican brand, the Jamaican product. We have been enjoying the fruits of that group without acknowledging how critical and how fundamental they are to all the other sectors that we work in. I know that the tourists come here because we have our vibes. It's not about the room and the fancy hotel. It's about the Jamaican vibes and that comes from our creativity. So when Sajikor Bank coming on board, it's not that them trying to figure out how to dance or how to wheel and come again. It's that we already know because the CEO got through the process long time. So it's as simply as this that, you know, you have to have partners who understand you. Reggae music is just one among many other forms of cultural expression that stimulate the economical activities of creatives and which can be leveraged for significant economic benefit. I recognize that our culture cannot only be seen as a marker for our identity, but that through the harvesting of creative expressions, culture also has the potential to provide sustainable solutions to local and global challenges. In the 1960s, Jamaica was about the third fastest growing economy in the world. In the world. Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew of Singapore visited this country in 1964 because he was so inspired at the rate of growth that we were having in this country. And we need to find ways to integrate all of these cultural things that are, that are God-given to us. Whether it is music, drama, sports, culture. My good friend Mr. Ed Bartlett refers to the other one, gastronomy. A gastronomy, right? <laughs> yes, Jamaican food. All of these things we need to systematically find a way to integrate into the program of moving from poverty to prosperity. Now the history of modern Jamaican visual and performing arts, which is really the history of our creative industries, stretches back to our colonial past, when the rich tapestry of African retentions in music, dance and storytelling met the European traditions in music, dance and the theatre. As Rex Nettleford notes, it's the rhythms of Africa meeting the melodies of Europe. That melding of forms allowed the newly freed slave to create entertainment that was accepted to the colonial masters and could be a source of income, especially in, during the colonial period when the tourist industry was developing. But it was the recording industry, the sound system, jukeboxes, and radio which changed the landscape forever. The new technology made it possible for the development of a professional and semi-professional class of Jamaican artists. These artists could make recording, perform at concerts and dances, and for the first time, make a living from entertainment. Creators must develop a sense of entrepreneurship. It cannot be only about creativity for creativity's sake. If you are going to monetize, you have to have a sense of what it means to be an entrepreneur and a business person. Creative entrepreneurs have to find innovative methods to earn from their content creation as smart technology continues to disrupt the creative industry business model. To the creative industries for a while. We believe that the creative industries is the industries that will move us into prosperity, right Minister? Everybody in Jamaica has creative talent 
Um, but let me share with you that your talent in creativity and your innovative talent, your creative talent, generally speaking, is just a raw material. And I'm happy my friend Dennis spoke about the fact that you have to have an entrepreneurial mindset.